In this video, we will install the licensing server and activate the license. So I have logged into the licensing server and I'll access the shared folder where the installer is saved, which is slash slash abby app server slash abby setup. Then I'll right click auto run, run as administrator, click yes, distributed installation, install servers, and you will get a security warning because you're trying to access the setup file which is basically an executable from a network drive. So that's okay, just go ahead and click run. I'll leave the language as English, okay. Again, just like we did for the application server, the Visual C++ 2015 redistributable installation will come up. So just click I agree, install, again I agree, install. I accept the license agreement and click next. I'll go ahead and enter the username and organization. Click next. Now you can see the application server is automatically unselected because IAS is not installed on this machine. Anyway, we don't need it as we are going to use this server only for licensing. So I'll unselect the processing server and just leave the protection server alone, which is basically the licensing server, and click Next. Then click Install, and the installation will begin. Right, I click Finish, and the installation is completed and the license manager will automatically pop up. Now let's go ahead and activate the license. So I click activate license, then enter the serial number, click next, and you will see various activation options here. The easiest method is to use the internet activation, but some companies restrict internet access for their servers. So in those cases, you can use the other two options, but I'm going to use the internet activation method. So I'll click next, again next, and the activation is successful. I'll click finish and you can see the license is activated successfully. Since this is a trial license, it shows 30 days left. Otherwise, you should see the expiration date. All right, so I'll click close and that is it. Our license server is activated. Now you might be wondering how the application server will talk to this licensing server and pick the license information. Basically, the application server doesn't talk to the licensing server directly or vice versa. Instead, the processing server will facilitate the communication between the licensing server and application server. This is pretty obvious from the architecture diagram. All right, in the next video, we will install the processing server and connect all these three servers together.